Welcome. In a previous video, I did an unboxing of this cheap HDMI USB capture card, and then I did a comparison in a second video with this card versus an Elgato game capture. So I'll put a link in the description to those videos. I also put a link to this product on eBay, and if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the specs and the capture modes of this card. So I pulled up some device info, and on Linux, if you type LSUSB, you'll get this ID here. And this ID consists of the product ID and the vendor ID. So the product ID is 2109, and this is hexadecimal. And then the vendor ID is 534D, and that's hexadecimal also. So if you're searching online for information about this, these adapter cards are made by lots of different companies using the same chipset. So if you can use this ID to maybe find information. I have the version here is 21. I don't know what that stands for. Then speed says up to 480 megabits per second. So I want to say something about that. The original video I made, I titled it USB 3.0 because this is sold as a USB 3.0 capture device. In my investigation, this looks like it's only USB 2.0 because it's only running at 480 megabits per second. So I pulled this off the Mac, and then on my Linux machine, I examined the USB bus, and I found it's only using USB 2.0 in that situation too. So in my original video, I added a question mark after USB 3.0. I could have removed 3.0, but people are still going to be searching for this adapter, and they can see my video, and then I explained in the comment why I put the question mark there. That being said, I don't know that it makes a huge difference. It may lower the latency a little bit compared to if it was using USB 3.0, but USB 2.0 can easily handle the video bandwidth that this device is putting out. And next we have the manufacturer Macro Silicon, and they make a lot of these like cheap uh, video devices. There's HDMI, uh, composite converters, things like that. So now I wanna take a look at the supported modes on this card. So I, I tested this on Windows, Mac, and Linux and I ran com different commands on each one. So on Windows, I ran this FFmpeg command and it gave me a list of modes. On Mac, I ran this one. And then on Linux, I ran this one. So the first two are FFmpeg. The Linux one is video for Linux, V4L. And I'll put a link to this page in the description so you can click on this and read through it yourself. So this card has two modes. It has MJPEG mode, so that's here, V codec, MJPEG. And then it has this pixel format, YUYV422. I think this is like a raw mode. So on the Windows setup, it shows the MJPEG and the pixel format here. And one thing to mention on this Windows listing, each of these lines was listed twice. I deduped them. I don't know why they were on there twice. So if I go to the Mac section, this doesn't list out if it's MJPEG or the pixel format is YUYV422. Now if I go down to Linux, here it does have that. It's MJPEG. And right here, we have YUYV. So it's harder to get the exact mode on a Mac in FFmpeg. And now I'll look at these a little bit. To look at these lines, and actually if you want to know the modes, you can just look through the Windows 10 list to get the gist of what this thing's capable of. It had the best format of displaying these. So if I look at this line here, we have a min and a max. And then we have the resolution. It's the same on both of these. I mean, if you were making a list, you would probably only show this once. I don't know why it shows twice, but that's how they did it. Then we have FPS 5 and 30. So this means the FPS range is from 5 to 30 at 1080p. So this brings up another thing is that the listing said it supported 60 FPS. And according to this, it does not support 60 FPS at 1080p. Now this did seem to support 4K 60 FPS as an input, but then it downgrades it to 1080p 30 FPS. So I think that's a little confusing because I think people seeing this will think that it can record at 1080p 60 FPS. So at the other higher resolutions here, you have 1600 by 1200, you have that same 30 FPS. And let's see what the notable ones here. If you go down here to 720p, which is 1280 by 720, here you have 60 FPS. So if you go down to that lower resolution, you can get the higher frame rate. And then all the frame rates below that, like 800 by 600, and you can go all the way down to 640 by 480, those all support 60 FPS. And that's in MJPEG mode. Now if we go to the YUYV422 mode, you'll see here at 1080p, actually 1080p is the second one here for some reason, but the frame rate here is five to five, and all of these frame rates are the same minimum max. So it supports five megabits per second at 1080p, so that's not very useful. And then 720p goes up to 10 frames per second, and then you can get to 30 frames per second at like 640 by 480 or some of these lower resolutions. Using this mode does not give you the FPS most people are going to want. So if we go down here to the Mac, we have kind of a similar list, and I checked that all these lists were the same. I actually put them all next to each other and checked off each one to make sure they were all representing the same modes. I wanted to make sure like the Mac list didn't have 1080p by 60 FPS, but the Windows one or Linux one didn't. They were all the same for the most part, although they're displayed differently. On the Mac, it doesn't give you much information here. Let's go just to 1080p here. So this is 1080p on the Mac, and it gives us, I think, five lines here. So this says 1080p, 
and then we have 30, 25, 20, 10, and 5. So this gives you specific FPS modes here. They go by 5s from 5 to 30, and it does that for all these. So this doesn't really tell you the limitation of 1080p at 5 FPS using the RAW mode. So I did the previous video where I recorded this in QuickTime, and I can only assume it was using Motion JPEG because it doesn't support the frame rate I was getting. I think I got 25 FPS in that video. So in my previous video, I recorded using QuickTime using this, and it went at 1080p, 25 FPS, so I can only assume that was using Motion JPEG. So if I go down here to Ubuntu, this is kind of a mix where it shows the specific FPS ranges, but it lists the different types like Motion JPEG and the RAW. So here we have 1080p and it lists out 30, 25, 20, 10, and 5. And this one lists out the time and seconds of each frame, which I thought was kind of interesting. So this one's kind of hard to read because it's a really long list. So you can mostly look at the Windows one to see what modes it supports. And then you can go down to the Mac one or the Linux one if you want you know, slightly more information. But this tells you most everything you're going to need to know here. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video. I think this will be of interest to people that are thinking about purchasing one of these, but they have a specific requirement to get a certain frame rate at a certain resolution. So this may work for some people, may not work for others. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. Thanks for watching. Till next time, goodbye.